Cue music. Cue music. All right. Well, junkies, and welcome back to Sure Thing Boys, the new bookie busting podcast. We're powered by Sure Thing Sports Betting Consultants, where winning isn't everything, it's the only fucking thing. I'm your host here, Beck. Whoa, did you hear that? It sounded like. What was that? <laughs> Somebody cheering? Is somebody cheering? Yeah, USA. Yeah, I think they're cheering. I think they're cheering USA. Yeah, they are cheering USA. Um, as always, we are powered by. Uh, I'm sorry, hang on. We're lost here. It's the computer. It's going down. Hang tight. Hang tight, people. Anyway, we're just gonna wing it. I'm your host, Beck. I got my boy over here, David Gold, aka the Professor of Picks, and the sharpest guy on Shore Drive. How are you feeling today, David? I'm feeling great. I got a, a nice happy hour drink in my hand, compliments of Bayside Bar and Grill, where happy hour is all day, every day. Absolutely. So, leads us into our next portion here. We are, as promised, live here at Short Drive at Bayside Bar and Grill. It's right next to the ABC store in between Urchin Road and I don't believe I know the other one, but you know the ABC store. You know which one I'm talking about. Uh, come on down and see us, uh, where happy hour is all day, every day. That's freaking crazy. And it is a happy hour today because you saw that we had the uh, USA, also known as United States of America, got a W today. They did. It was awesome. It was an amazing game. Best player scored a goal and best player went out, but the USA still grinding out the win. TKO. One nothing, and that gentleman is from uh, not too far from from Baltimore, Maryland, uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, but uh, there was a little scare at the end of that game. We'll talk about it here in a second. But you know what was even better? What's that? I actually did not give out that game. I did not have a side on that game. But guess who did? I did. <laughs> Yahtzee, right? Yahtzee. Uh, we picked the right side, so that's that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, how did the office do yesterday? How did how did Short Thing Sports do yesterday? All right. Well, here's how Short Thing Sports did. In the football game, we made a major mistake, um, and I wanted to give a shout out to my buddy. I actually saw him out at dinner last night, Walter. He's actually the owner of famous Uncle Al's Hot Dogs with his wife Amber. The owner right, Uncle Al's, the one right here on Shore Drive, right. Right next to right Swell, there, in car wash. I might not be welcome there because at dinner I you gave him Uncle Al. <laughs> at dinner, I gave <laughs> I gave him the one of my very few losers. Um, we did take the uh, Colts last night, and uh, Walter, if you're out there, I am sorry. Um, I hope I'm invited back for a hot dog or two one day, and hopefully we never run into each other at dinner again. <laughs> that that uh, that actually kind of and it's not it. it it may be yours, it may not be your no effing way of the day. We're going to jump right into it here, people. Um, before you start yours, did you happen to see the Pacers come back against the oh, Los Angeles Lakers last night? I actually, you know what's so funny? Because I I literally, after the Colts game, I passed out. Like, yeah. I literally woke up in the middle of the night, and I saw the Lakers up by eight with like two minutes left to go, maybe it's nine, and I'm like, okay, because I just check all the scores, you know, yeah. it's like a habit, yeah. I go right. score and check, you know, right. see whatever it is, because sometimes, you know, the truth is I let the games progress, and I don't, I just care about the end result, Right. And I didn't have any action on that game, but then I saw it, and I see, I couldn't believe it, it closer, closer, and then, like, if somebody hit a dagger three at the end, and the yep. Lakers lost, I couldn't believe it. And I believe it was by a rookie. So the Pacers beat the Lakers. They were down in the fourth quarter by 17 points. That's almost 18 points, people. Almost 18 points. Um, and it was their first time in 378 straight games that the Lakers lost when they were up by 17 in the fourth. Wait, hold on. Are you taking my job? I'm scared right now. No, I'm because not. Because you're, you're, you're spitting out some facts, man. Dude, I saw, like, I, could, I couldn't believe it. I'm nervous. I absolutely couldn't believe it. Why don't I start hosting and you start being in the room? Hand the camera this way, guys. <laughs> Zoom in on me. Uh, what's your no effing way of the day? Do you have one? I do. We always got one. Um, fortunately, I was 2-0 in hockey last night. 
Um, and one of the games I actually had, the other side just choked it up. That's why we don't watch the games. We let the end result come in. Um, one day I will also tell them, uh, I will tell everybody out there, the cash out bet is the biggest sucker bet in the world. Stick with your bet, never cash out. That's how they make the money off you. You believe in your bet, stick to your bet. Because last night, if you had the Tampa Bay Lightning in Buffalo, mm -hmm. you are ready to rip your ticket, go cash to the window, out, cash out, take done. five cents on a thousand dollar bet. Yes. <laughs> but we did have the right side in that game. Um, and fortunately, uh, Buffalo was up two goals with right around five minutes to go. Tampa Bay scored. Boom. Empty net, pulled the goalie, score again, boom. Game goes to overtime. He means Yahtzee. Yeah. Game goes to overtime. Oh, yeah. We cover the line. My clients go away happy. Make up for that Colts bet because the Devils also won last night. New Jersey Devils, the hottest team in the NHL. They beat my lead. My, I do. I am a Rangers fan. The Devils, but they're so hot right now. Um, and, they're like an so they were They were a small road dog in the garden. And they actually come through big time. I'm also going to give another no effing way today. And it, and it is going to be the Steelers over top of the so there was a lot of TVs broken last night, dude. Like that—that that was that. That just was that was crazy to me. That whole ending to that thing, and once again, it came down to a two-point conversion. Did you stop it? Are yeah. we actually getting into that game then? Yeah. Let's do it. Right? Let's, Let's do it. it. Let's do it. I, I, honestly, where I knew I made my mistake last night was when I was watching the game. I follow the numbers, so I go by the lines. I go by where Vegas oh. doing. I go by where the money's at. The line. Once they said that, once the line was pushing three. All the sharp action actually was supposed to switch, switch to the Colts last night. Never really made it to three, but I actually took my gut and thought it was going to go up to three, but so the sharp money was moving that way. Anyway, that being said, my major mistake was Tomlin is a professional coach. Jeff Saturday is still a rookie coach. Not saying he's bad, not saying but he made a I'm lot of mistakes. Good. He made a lot of mistakes in that yep. game. And you know what? You got to side with the better coach than she did. And I, I made that mistake. I think that now, I'm, I'm man enough to say every now and then we take our hit, and even I make a mistake. Sorry, he's, he's sorry, Walter. He's been talking about it all day. <laughs> yeah, at that dinner. <laughs> I, I hope I didn't ruin your. your I, he actually, Walter asked me where you should go after. He's like, should I go to the port? Should I go to Tank Up? Or should I go to um, what's the, the other restaurant, whatever it is? And I'm like, so we gave him the choice. I hope I didn't ruin that second selection because he saw the final result. <laughs> You know, another mistake you made is wearing a short thing at a sports betting for sure around me, and I don't have it. Really? Yeah, dude. Like, what is that about? Because you make short things for you. Oh, sure. That's uh, that, is, that is true. I got the <laughs> States United on right here. You see the flag, USA. Uh, still hyped about that. Big win. Took it late against my against my gut. Um, so on to Jeff Saturday. He made a lot of mistakes last, last night. Rookie coach never called timeouts. Let the clock go. I mean, Matt Ryan looked like hell the whole game. The through. line looked like garbage. Yeah, the line looked like garbage. I mean, the Colts were never really, even though they came back, scored 14 in the third quarter. They never looked like they really were going to take control of that game. Matt Ryan actually slid four yards short of the first down. No, dude, dude, what? Did you saw that too? Yeah. Like, what is he doing? The, the trip? Yeah. He made my cave. Yeah. I mean, and that's what we're talking about. It goes, all goes back to like, you know, the old Matt Ryan, except in the Super Bowl collapse. He's, the, he's kind of your uh, your old reliable Matt Ryan. He's not the same guy. You don't know what you're getting back game anymore. Right. And that's like as we talk about the quarterback playing. It's not Matty Ice anymore. Yeah. And um, but he had Matty slip on the ice. Ooh, yeah. he did slip. slip on the he ice. did slip on the he ice did. last night. Um, but that being said, Saturday needs to call timeout. Timeout there. Regroup. Get three left in the three left. If you didn't. Clock fits management doesn't matter. I don't think they would have won the game anyway. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know, and, and I don't know what Jeff Saturday has to do or not do to keep or not keep that job. Um, but I will tell you this, and from you know, growing up and being huge into football, and um, uh, one of my best friends uh, is, a, is a lineman and. He played in the league, and they get no respect. I followed Jeff Saturday all the way through his career. Um, he was a hell of a guy. He was a liaison between Manning and the players, and I know for a fact that he walked into that locker room and he ate it like a man, just like you did on your bet, your loss with Walter. Um, so I know that he's not going to lose that locker room, um, but I don't know what he can and can't do. Um, it's all it's all up to the upper management, but we'll see. Um, 
Today, we're going to jump into a little bit of what the fuck is going on in uh, the NHL. There's a lot going on in the NHL. Um, as we move it out forward from, obviously, football, we're going to get less and less football now. Um, I love it. I'm an NHL guy. I love hockey. I love betting on But hockey. we do have both of them. Uh, we do obviously give out the best picks of the night, not necessarily in hockey, but um, it's, it's um, something I love, and um, I find a lot of good you know, uh, stats and, and stuff to handicap in, in hockey. Tonight, um, without giving out a pick, but kind of giving a pick, which I normally don't do, but since I'm chugging some happy hour liquid courage here, <laughs> you got alcohol and beverages up here? Um, I am going at Bayside Bar Grill. Right now, the Boston Bruins tonight, they are at home against the Tampa Bay Lightning. I don't know if anyone knows this, but I'm sure people do. The Bruins have not lost a home game. They broke the NHA record the other day for uh, most home games from the start of the season. Did they really? They did. I think they're 13 and 0, and I don't see that stopping tonight. Um, there's no reason that they, the Tampa Bay Lightning's coming off. This will be a second or back or back to back for them. Bruins arrested, they're at home. Um, I, I think the Bruins are going to basically keep that record going, and uh, I see 14 0 on the horizon. We got the hottest team, another hot team, the Pittsburgh Penguins. They lost, I think it was eight in a row at one point. Now they're on a big win streak um, themselves. They're playing Carolina. Carolina, to me, is one of those teams that they're getting a lot of hype right now, but they do have a lot of trouble scoring goals. Um, and uh, so look, there is always a little value in anybody who plays Carolina because everybody wants the Hurricanes to be a Super Bowl, uh, Stanley Cup, sorry, Stanley Cup contender. Um, but when you're talking hockey, can we, can we talk CAP, that's Caps, Caps, Caps? The Caps are a decimated team. Uh, they just got Ocean back. Um, the Caps will be, the Caps are obviously always a tough, tough out. I don't see them winning the Stanley Cup this year, but um, they are decimated, still a lot of injuries. Um, 9-11-3. That's yeah. not a good story. Yeah, no, that's, but they're, they're decimated. They just got Oshie back. They got three other guys. Um, still major players out. Um, the Capitals are always, they'll be there. They'll be right at the end. Once they get healthy, they'll be there at the end. But, um, yeah, good, really good card on hockey tonight. So if you are um, out there and you want to make some money tonight, I have a great card lined up for the NHL. Um, I'm feeling very positive about the out there. Tonight. They're already calling in. So... As everybody else is already doing on Davy Gold's business phone here, if you guys want the inside scoop and you guys want the sure winners of the night, uh, whether that be hockey or whatever games you guys want to talk about, uh, if, if Davy Gold knows I'm just going to give it to you, give him a call. Uh, sure thing, sports betting consultants, www.shorethingsports.com. Um, it'll probably be ringing all up soon. Yeah, this is a diff little different hour for us, and as we get closer to a puck drop or ball tip or, you know, kickoff, usually my phone does blow up, um, and my clients ask me questions, what the management is, stuff like that, how much should I put on tonight, the weekly figures, everything else like that, so I'm sorry about that, we'll have the phone call next time. So none of my current clients panic, if they go right to voicemail, they got you. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be right in, in a second, like, Jay, who should I put? <laughs> Look at people signing, me, bro. <laughs> um, so, something that I kind of wanted to talk about um, that I don't think I don't think people really really talk about it, even on Sports Center, ESPN, whatever you want to call it, um, is I saw I saw something and I actually said something to Kelly about it the other day was when you, I went to Google and this all started with the Tom Brady and Giselle and Giselle posted. For the game that if he didn't retire after the game, then she was going to divorce him, and he didn't retire, obviously, and now they're they're getting divorced. I don't know how true that was, um, but then I pulled up Google, I believe it was two days ago, and Joey Bosa's fiance or girlfriend had posted something about them breaking up and her seeing somebody else. Like, why did this dude in the locker room get ready to go out for the call? And then... Another thing that popped up was well, Patrick Mahomes' brother and a tweet, something about Didn't he pour something, drink on somebody? Yeah, it was uh, um, some sort of um, like a, a, a gay bashing, um, got into that whole thing. And I kind of wanted to just touch on, especially in the NCAA now that these guys are getting paid uh, per their social media. And 
Do you think that these guys all need, and, and they probably do have, maybe don't they don't use them, social media managers? Absolutely, because, you know, especially as a young kid. I mean, even now, everyone makes mistakes, and stuff does happen, you know. But a young kid, you know, that's... It, it, I mean, it's a, it could be a career end. It could, it, I mean, look at the kid, um, not, you know, I don't know much about the situation, I'm not going to lie, but the kid from Florida, he drafted, he was signed to Florida, he was the number one recruit, he drafted, he said the N-word in his rap. And, oh, okay. and they pulled his scholarship they pulled yep. it and they kicked him off the team. Yep. Not, not, he will find another team. Um, and obviously, you know, there's always forgiveness out there, but Florida gives him a scholarship as well. Um, and they pulled him, they kicked him off the team this recent. So obviously, and these are young kids. We all, everybody makes mistakes. Sometimes kids don't realize what they're saying and what it is. So you, especially when you're under the spotlight, this should really kind of know a little better. Yeah. But then, then again, these still young kids. Um, I don't feel you know, want to get too it, It's kind of hit and miss, yeah. It's a, it's a touchy subject, but and we'll come back to it maybe in a later episode. If you guys want to write in, have any questions about it. Um, when I was playing uh, college ball, we didn't social media had just come out, uh, and we obviously were not getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it was a different world. I couldn't imagine. Having somebody breathing down your neck or a camera in your face at all times, and you're the backup monitor. You know, something can always go wrong at that point. Um, but anyway, I know your phone was blowing up. Do you want to go back to what the fuck's going on in the NHL? Um, yeah, um, we have the late game. Um, it was another game I do. Like I said, I do have a lot of stuff going on in the NHL tonight. Um, I'm actually on the event as well. They're playing the Philadelphia Flyers tonight. Uh, Flyers are on a Bomb streak. They're just playing terrible. They also are decimated. Um, they're, they're, they're just an injury play team. So the Islanders are on the road against the Flyers. They just actually played them the other night. They won at home in the Belmont Park uh, Ice Arena in Long Island, New York. Um, <laughs> you got the Ducks tonight. <laughs> um, Is Charlie Conway pointing to the Ducks? <laughs> but we do have um, what, what Goldberg. Uh, Goldberg. Goldberg. Uh, we do have. Bet a lot. You if it was a Hamburger, you catch it. <laughs> we do have um, a, a great card of hockey tonight. Um, lined up for uh, the next game for everybody. So if you're uh, ready to make some money tonight, you uh, go to the website, sign up, we'll send you out the picks. And I'm already be thanking, uh, thanking us for doing the podcast and sending you in the right direction. Uh, another thing that we're we're going to get into, dive into pretty, pretty deep. Uh, the next couple of episodes is going to be that we're transferring out of college football season. Um, it's going to be the bowl game, the bowl season. Um, One of my favorite games. Oh, what's the Army Navy. Yep. I it's love that. Awesome. We do have the conference championships yeah, coming up. Yeah, a lot of good stuff this weekend. Um, a lot of okay. playoff potential busts. Implications. Yep. Yep. Implications. Yep. 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 Um, so just uh, make sure you guys do your homework. Uh, if not, let me do your homework. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of great stuff coming this week, um, and uh, we're so excited to uh, do our podcast. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So we will, from now on, uh, come on live and ready uh, without uh, cell phones ringing uh, at 5.30 p.m., Monday through Friday, Shore Drive, Bayside Bar and Grill, where it's happy hour every hour. Uh, come down and see us. We have a whole audience out here. We have room. We got golden tea. We have a beer pong table sitting <laughs> right here. Literally, I wish I could pan the camera. Uh, we got a DJ booth. We got golden tea. We got awesome bartenders. It's a great place to be, a great atmosphere. As you can see, we got a couple cameras or uh, TVs above us out here. And uh, we're going to kind of do a little pregame show. You can get into your game tonight. I do want to end real quick. Before we jump off of here, what do you think about the Maryland Turks basketball team? They're number 22 right now. They're 6-0. and Their starting five is all straight out of Maryland. Um, and I think that they're looking pretty good. I don't know how they're sitting at number 22 that far back. They're sitting at number two in the Big Ten. Um, they play the garbage. I mean, I, they got I, an 0 16. Harry Louisville. Louisville. Louisville basketball 0 and 6. Unbelievable. Man. Here's the trivia question. It's just for you, Davy Gold. Yeah. What's the capital of Kentucky? Is it Louisville or Louisville? Uh, 
front of us. So uh, if I ask her, then are you asking I'm me directly? Asking you literally. Like I'm on the spot right now. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm obviously if I said Louisville, then I would be wrong because the way you asked it. I'm gonna go with Louisville. It's Frankfurt. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Trick question. Uh, Got me. So I'm a huge Sharks fan. I was actually dressed in all Maryland gear on the way here for the game tonight. I'm super excited to watch my boys play. Uh, I'm a big Terps basketball guy, uh, but obviously uh, the United States of America getting the W over Ireland um, and holding them on was huge. So I had to make a pit stop and get some swag, USA swag here. Um, but uh, that's that's pretty much all we got for today. Yeah. Um, so it's our first pilot episode here at Bayside, which I'm so comfortable in. Yeah, at the office. Yeah, absolutely. We got Marco came with us, the mascot. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a pretty awesome setup. And uh, we're gonna basically, like I said to everyone out there, if you have uh, you want to make some money on that NHL card, I have mine. That was awesome. Yeah, so definitely go to www.surethingsports.com. Go ahead and pick a package. There's VIP packages. There's single pick winners. Um, or you can get David Gold a call here, as everybody's been doing during the damn episode and interrupting us. Uh, but that's cool, though. I mean, we got business, and he's giving out sure winners. Sorry, Walter, again. <laughs> but, hey, don't judge me on what? My winners judge me on my losers because they were so cute. Jordan Belfort. Guys, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you. We love you. Like us, share us, be about us. Tomorrow, 5.30 p.m., come see Short Thing Boys down here. Live podcast. Interact with us down at Bayside Bar and Grill here on Short Drive. We out. Thank you. Show goes on. All right. Gonna take me a second to go <laughs> oh, actually, this one's here. You played for the Capitals? You're injured. I played for the Cavs. <laughs> You're injured. <laughs>